Hello guys, in this video we are going to study regarding the bypass factor. So basically the bypass factor is the factor when the air is passing over the coil, some part of air is passed unaffected. So that is known to be the bypass factor. So assume that you have the coil over here. This is the coil and there is the air which is passing over the coil. Let's say this air is having temperature of TD1. Okay. Now the air when it is passing over the coil some amount of air will be remaining unaffected so when it comes out it will be having the temperature at td1 okay so that is very small amount so this particular thing when air is remaining unaffected so that unaffected air is known to be the bypass factor so there are various uh, factors or the reasons behind this particular loss okay those are nothing but the velocity of air depth of coil and the frames per inch of the coil so first we'll see the velocity of air. So when the velocity of air is more, which is passing over the cooling coil, rather the coil, any coil, cooling or heating coil, the bypass factor will be more. Okay, because when the velocity is more, for less amount of time, the air will be in contact with the coil, and hence the bypass factor will be more. The second one is the depth of coil. Again, if the depth of coil is less, okay, let's say this is the side view of coil. This is the side view of coil and when i go for the side view this particular length from this to this this is known to be the depth of coil for this particular depth of coil if the depth is less let's say so in that case the bypass factor will be more okay now this is again because when the air is passing over here if the depth is less this this length is less for less amount of time the air will be in contact with the coil okay and that's why the de for depth of coil uh, less depth of coil the bypass factor will be more obviously if you increase the depth of coil the bypass factor will decrease then fins per inch okay assume that this is the front view of coil and uh, there are various fins provided on the coil we know that this is because to increase the surface area of the coil for better heat transfer okay so these are let's say the fins okay uh, this is let's say the one inch length this length is nothing but the one inch length so in one inch length how many fins are there that is nothing but the fins per inch if these fins per inch are less let's say okay if the fins per inch are less in that case the bypass factor will be more because when the fins per inch are less there will be more gap between two pins there will be more gap between two fins and through the gap the air can easily pass unaffected Whereas if I increase the number of fins, let's say I'm increasing the number of fins, okay. So in that case, the gap will be decreased between the fins and hence for lesser amount of uh, what you can say, the air will be remaining unaffected. More amount of air will be affected over here because it will remain for more time. The passage will be reduced over here. So that in that case, the bypass factor will be less. So basically, the bypass factor is nothing but the uh, inefficiency of coil this is nothing but the inefficiency of coil so if, if i want to write something about the efficiency of coil efficiency of coil with respect to the bypass factor it will be the one minus bypass factor one minus bypass factor where bypass factor is inefficiency so one minus inefficiency is nothing but the efficiency of coil is there fine now we will see the uh, bypass factor for the heating coil i'll just draw the schematic over here okay assume that this is the chamber through which the air is passing and this is the heating coil basically okay this is the heating coil i'll give the name this is the heating coil now assume that one kg of air is coming in over here at a temperature of td1 this is the dry bulb temperature at point number one this is the one kg of air okay and that one kg of air is passing over the coil and coming out let's say at a state number two okay so this is again a one kg of air which is having the temperature of td2 dry bulb temperature point number two whereas the coil is maintained at the temperature let's say td3 or the state number three okay now obviously ideally what should happen that this particular air which is coming in needs to be heated up up to the td3 so td1 has to reach to td3 because but because of the losses this won't happen and actually i can get the outlet output as the td2 okay so assume that this is the one kg of air which is passing over over here out of this one kg 
x kg of air is passing without affecting through the coil so this is the x kg of air which is passing without affecting the coil whereas when i am removing x kg from 1 kg that is 1 minus x amount of air will be passing over the coil will be passing over the coil or will be in contact with the coil so in that case this particular x kg is nothing but the bypass or the bypass factor so we'll say how to get this bypass factor this is this we can get it through the energy balance over here okay now we know that the energy or the heat energy or is over here is nothing but the mcp delta t or mcp t simply here i am maintaining the cp mean to be the cp mean okay cpm okay so now uh, i'll be writing the equation for inlet uh, heat energy and the outlet energy so outlet over here is nothing but the point number 2 so with respect to point number 2 the mass is 1 kg okay this is with respect to point 2 the mass is 1 kg into the specific heat i am maintaining uh, assuming it's a cpm mean specific heat into for this particular air the temperature is td2 so i am multiplying it by td2 which will be equal to obviously the inlet air okay now inlet air has been split into two part one is x kg and another is 1 minus x so it is i am writing it for the x kg first so x kg into the specific heat is cpm into now the temperature of this particular x kg is point number one only na, td1 because at uh, td1 only that air has come in and it is unaffected and will remain at that temperature only so it will be td1 over here plus the next one is nothing but the 1 minus x kg amount of air so this is 1 minus x kg amount of air which will be again maintain okay so this 1 minus x kg of air is coming in contact with the coil where the coil temperature is td3 so here i'll be having td3 okay now i'll just simplify this particular equation so this is obviously the cpm cpm and cpm will get cancelled over here so it's a td2 which is equal to x into td1 plus 1 minus x into td3 further i will like simplify this td2 is equal to x td1 plus td3 minus x td3 minus x td3 fine now what i'll do i will take x term on one side and uh, uh, temperature terms on the one side so it is something like x td3 minus x td1 x td1 which is equal to td3 minus td2 okay I'll take the x common over here td3 minus td1 is equal to td3 minus td2 from here i can get the bypass factor x is equal to which is nothing but the bypass factor basically which is equal to td3 minus td2 divided by td3 minus td1 okay now suppose this is the bypass factor for heating coil this is the bypass factor for heating coil suppose if i want to show this particular process on the psychrometric chart obviously it's a sensible heating process okay so this is the point number one over here okay this is the heating process ideally the heating has to be done up to point number three okay which is the surface temperature of coil but however because of the losses the heating is done up to point number two so this is the sensible heating fine so td1 td2 and td3 now this is nothing but the unaffected difference that is td3 minus td2 divided by maximum possible heat transfer that is between td1 and td3 okay so this is the maximum possible from point number one to point number three is the maximum possible however uh, the loss is nothing but the from two to three okay so the bypass factor is nothing but the loss divided by maximum possible heat transfer so this is the bypass factor for the heating coil on the similar fashion and the similar fashion you can write down the bypass factor for the cooling coil assume that again i am drawing the uh, what you can say the psychrometric chart over here for the sensible cooling process so let's say this is the point number one inlet condition okay then ideally the cooling has to be done up to point number two but because of the bypass uh, the cooling is up to point number three over here okay so this is point number one point number two point number three now here the bypass factor for cooling coil x cooling coil 
will be the loss. So loss is between 2 to 3. So it is TD2 minus TD3 divided by the maximum possible will be from TD1 to TD3. Okay, so TD1 minus TD3. Okay, so this is the bypass factor for the cooling coil. I hope you understand the things about the bypass factor. Thank you.